Predis is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine, Tech Charge, Ray White Overproof Rum, Fui Culture, Campari, Respect the Bitter, JF Mills, The Heart and Soul of Your Kitchen, and Swiss Ketchup and Barbecue Jerk Sauce. Better because it's Swiss. My side, Wagwan, well welcome back to another exciting episode of Predis Show. You don't know I'm your host, Nalda Adi, and we're in a whole harbor town. But this week, we have a special guest, Aiden. We got some G. Yeah, you know, bro. I know my new face, but don't worry. The quality of your favorite show will stay just the same. You hear it from the boss himself, you know. So, you don't know we have a whole heap of lifestyle and entertainment content for you guys. So, without further ado, Aiden, ready to start the show? Definitely. Forward, bro. Most of us know him as Voldemort, but right now Ski Mask are dwelling in the darkness. Let's hear more in our exclusive interview with the Clarendon native. Yo, my demons are talk to me. I'm a pain, just a touch of me. He just a touch of me. Ski Mask, welcome to pre the show. I'm glad my father was up there and up them. What drew you to coming in? Uh, it was just that. I you know, just like acting. As I say, I don't know. Jamaican and the world, there wasn't um, a big platform for actors out here. You know, but you don't know. We use social media as a medium to just display your talent. How did you make the transition or segue from Valamore to Ski Maso? What caused the rebranding? Uh, the pain. <laughs> but differently from that, it was just me being creative. You get what I say, um, the everyday dance artist life, we just see and the new way of how them do things and we just I be creative throughout with skits them and just I work with the idea and then it just take off from that and we just all right, a ski. Pain in a mind, pain in a heart, pain in a task and a pain with my dark. Them road are not easy, them deadly if you walk as how influential was the association in you getting into music? I mean, remember Javi with Gina. We know Javi from a long time, way before. And we had to do all music. And you get what I say. So, him was the person who actually see with talent and say, all right, forward, yes, sir. We are going to work on the talent. We are going to do some work and put the thing on a different level. So, it was just. A matter of we being around each other, we being creative, them being musicians. Make them see the black can if you take a spin enough of them a wall down a try for it other thing. How has performing overseas recently helped your brand and to expose you outside of Jamaica? I want to tell you, I put the thing on a different level, you know. It's in my cause me that said before. From your dance I had you know, your dance abroad. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a two different crowd that is a two different kind of fan base. So if you can shake up your head and then go back up and go shake up your head again, you know, so yo, it's a different thing that the thing out there for real. You mentioned about pain and, and darkness um, in your song. Um, explain to us, um, what does it signify? Are these coming from different spaces in your life? You know, we lose all the mother to you know, you know, so. All of we, I not specifically say how everybody go through the same form of pain either, but all of we can relate to pain. And we know say how pain it hurt you. You see me? I say so. More while well, when you get hurt by a certain thing, it, it, it put you in a space where you know one day around nobody is like you're just in a dark zone where I just you alone one day. There, so. You see me? I say so. All of them things the way they that man people were hurt you and them things. There, so. That's why we just say like, pain, man. How close were you to your mother? Yeah, close, close. I don't you can think. I remember the moment we grew with. You see me, she grew from a youth same way. So, as you can see, she did roll my neck. She didn't left me no time either. Family kind of really support it when it just starts. Because worse when certain things new, you know. I had try a new idea. 
you see me, you actually have to make them believe in what you do first. Then you see the thing at work, then you don't know. At them time, they, everybody just accept the thing. People just accept the thing when time money starts mixed still in real life. You see me? But when you try the thing, eh, just you know, say you try. But them, them who for support me, support me, man. Yeah. And I'm a sister and them thing that she, me and the you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Kenta, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me need a buyer for the house for the hill. Me need a real tough behind you. Were you surprised at the response from darkness? At first, but my new say yo, power the day and the thing I did know say yo. We are working you know, and one day to pay off, but we just never know how soon or how fast. Lock off your light, cover tree dark. Bend your back and bend your knee and then you ski, 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 ski. Where in Jamaica from originally? Where you grew up? I want to tell us how far from Manchester, you know, originally. You see me from a small place named Victor Town. You see me, so uh, we just a stay so all right. We a jump out and put the place on the map. You see me, so anyway, we go here the same way, but we did go to school in a Clarendon. So most people didn't feel like some original power from Clarendon. I mean, through it all, you still want education because you have to smart the same way. You see me, I say, for any youth, you watch a thing, you don't have to have, you don't have to, you don't have to can read and write. And, because them things that go help you know, for, for, for know what you want to do in you know, a creative process. You see me, I say, no matter what you want to do, you want know, to have you know, education same speed. Bring your back and bring your knee and swing your hand and then you ski, 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 ski. Get my feet so, yeah. Make sure you come support the pretty style out there in the whole lot, you know. We'll be right back after the break. Sell me a banana, no? All right, my general. Let's see how it is. See you All right. <laughs> <laughs> What bitter means to me, it means respect. Yeah, Fran, you are top man. Respect the bitter with the real top brand. Ah, so when them say bitter, that just mean life I get better. Respect the bitter. We'll be the whole of the drink, drink responsibly. See Magnum here, bro. Respect energy. You ready for go over Portmore you now? Yeah, man. Portmore's very own aftershock is up next. Up next is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine. Take charge. A lot of struggles. A lot of pain, but I still make it up. I never met my mommy shame, come my dad for be a king and everybody did see it. Aftershock, welcome to the show, my G. You are gone. Holy Father, I'm there, man, you know. Talk to us a bit about your background, your history. What's your name? How old are you? Where did you grow up? All right, so my name is Christoph Christie. I'm currently 29 years old. You know, basically originate from Portmore. Born and grown and raised in Portmore. Just a regular youth who go through a whole heap of struggles right now. We just uh, do what they have to do without really making your environment determine who you is. Well, I used to attend the Oval in high school and GC Foster College where I was pursuing a bachelor's degree in physical education and sports. We have a passion for sports. Um, at one point, I was actually a, a world ju a national junior champion in the 110 hurdles. Oh, yeah, so to me. Yeah, man. Yeah, a track star. <laughs> Season, my friends live through the range van Rest in heaven to my fallen fans Don't worry cause the youth have to be a great man When did you realize that you had a talent for music? Alright, basically I realized that I had a talent for music from high school, grade 10 I remember it was that year when Be a freestyle, beat pan decks and Holy pan eyes, lunch time Every chance we get freestyle And from that it was like Oh, you know, say, love music, mm -hmm. have a gift about it. I have an uncle who really encouraged me. It was like one day, we go on a stage show and push me up on the stage and I say, yo, if you not, if you not perform, you not carry your back home, you, know, you yeah. have to go walk. <laughs> so, take the fire phone and start work and surprisingly, the crowd reaction was like, it was beautiful. It was one of them moments that I can't forget. When they check it out, the youth really a tried from far. Back in the days, me and my brother ever war. Saturdays, my. What are some of the struggles that you've encountered thus far on your musical journey? Ah, <sighs> well, I can tell you, face a holy, a holy past struggles you see. Mainly, like in terms of promotion wise, cause you know promotion take a lot. Mm -hmm. It take a lot to get the music out there. 
because the song them can good, but if they're not pushed to the audience, then it just like a waste. What has the support been like here um, in your surroundings? The people might fight out your thing or they might give you a push and say, youth, do it. Uh, the support has been silently loud, you know, to tell you the truth. And Vibe Cartel inspire me and prove to me say that possible. Some of my other inspiration them can say, well, in I would have said Ninja Man, Bean Man, the Bounty Killer, Wayne Marshall Pana level. I turn up anywhere we touch down, fully upgrade every have funds, down in I'm a place where that latest single right now we have Bond Winner that is going to be released anytime now. Um can look out for the official audio anytime now and then the video later on. What does Aftershock hope? to achieve musically. Nothing but greatness. Nothing but greatness. Fully upgrade every kind of funds. Dining on my place, brother, I mean I just come. We are proud for all night till morning come. DJ Tucker Fresh is from Spanish Town. Let's hear more about his musical journey in this week's Mixmaster segment. Mixmasters is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine. Take charge of things anytime, anywhere. In a world where so many young talented DJs look to make a name for themselves in the industry, DJ Tucker Fresh looks to stand out amongst his peers. He joins us this week for our Mix Master segment. How did you get your start in music? Well, I get my start in music from a about 10 days when I started to listen to radio, that's when I saw the connection for the love for music. Because I used to listen to radio and like predict which song is going to play next. So from there, I thought that, you know, this would be something that I would like to, to do. As a DJ, you know, he has to know a lot of genre, like from souls to dance uh, to Afrobeat, soca. He say it varies. So to understand from a tender age how to transition from like Afrobeat to soca to like to dance all, it helps you when you reach to the big stages because it's this can really build you up but it can also break you because you don't want to reach in a situation where you're at a party and you don't understand how to read the crowd because Reading the crowd means a lot when you're a DJ because if you don't know how to read the crowd, you might go and you might think you're playing the right stuff, but the crowd not interacting and reacting how you'd like it to. So apart from your unique trait of having a special ear for music, what makes you special as a DJ? I born for music. I'm from Spanish Town, Elta Makers to be exact, and I did attend the Elta High School. Did you have a DJ in high school? Yes, I, uh, well, you bring back a lot of memories, but yes, I did in high school. I am a runner-up currently for the Sun City High School District Competition. So yeah, high school entering DJ competition was the best for me. So what was the first event that you played at professionally as a DJ? Professionally? Well, this takes me way back because the first actual event I played at was a, a party that was called TML, to be exact. Do you have any events that you dream to play at? Yes, uh, actually, I know, write down some goals for. 2023, I dream to play at um, Sands, like Zimmy, and all of those top events like I Love Soka. Yeah, so I really wish I can work towards those dreams. What are some struggles you know you face so far in your career? I went to a lot of parties where, you know, I'm using Windows, go to parties and my time to play, plug on a laptop. No music because it's not compatible with the Serato. At the time, I wasn't using Serato, I was using Virtual DJ. From a all time, what I really loved was I always wanted to be a soldier. 
So probably if it wasn't music, I'd probably in the army by now. It's break time, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Predis. What bitter means to me, it means respect. Trust in the process. It my rough now, but go on push, brother. So when them say bitter, that just mean life I get better. Compare, respect the bitter. Clive Coburn's jerk pork has been a staple on Riddles Road for many years now. We hear more about his story in our Panda Fire segment. Panda Fire is brought to you by JF Mills, the heart and soul of your kitchen, and Swiss ketchup and barbecue jerk sauce. Better because it's Swiss. Yeah, this is Clive Coburn, Jerk Pork Center, right along Price Mart on Reddit's Road. Um, how long you've been doing jerk pork? Most 15 years now. 15 years, yeah, and how was... has it been over that 15 year period? Great, man, great. What made you decide to get into jerk pork? Nothing wasn't going on, you know. I get a vision. So I'm out here selling pork. And I find myself the other morning, get a table. Get a job from another jerk pork. I'm start with eight pound of pork the Friday morning and we sell it on this Friday evening. We go back and market and buy 15 pounds Saturday. So we sell it on. We go back and market more and buy 20. And we just continue upon the 20. Continue upon the 20. I'm not with myself. Before you got into doing jerk work, what were you doing as a profession, as a career? No fear no. I was a tailor from, from, from my youth days. I tailor for about 42 years. I didn't get slow panting. I was jumping a cash goal. I had a master cash goal, cash and two million goal. We do it business. Mm -hmm. I save a good money at time. As the people are really poor, but they love it. All the foreign people are called. I said, send cheap, cheap all the poor for me, and my brother wants to let me get it. You know? When I was a big man, when they come out, cheap all the one. And so long as I can't like, yeah, pound and half of what I eat. Yeah, man, it's a taste of pork with it, man. It might put a job. What is it about your pork that makes it such in high demand? People are telling me some of the blame season, you know, blame season, we go back to the golden years. Throw it back on the pot, throw my powder season, throw my salt, throw my browning. I don't only water that touch my season, the browning. I said, I'm going to so, I rub it up. And don't see, when I don't see my pork, you know, I'll treat a handful of season that's my pot season, you know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's put my top of the pork, so. Same way, we don't put less. All the while I'm more pork, season all these up on my pork. And my pork, it has the taste and everything already. It's nice, eh? Yeah, man, you say, do, look, juicy and all them things. Eh? It looks juicy and soft. So, what do you enjoy most about doing jerk pork? What do you love most about your, your job? I mean, I'll get up every morning, 4.30, go to the market and come back, wash up my pot them and bucket, chop up my pork, not no more to sweet myself. <laughs> yeah, it's my jerk pork, soft and tender, no hardness. I mean, I blend my, seas my seasoning. Give them the whole days, the whole days, beat me, beat my seasoning. Can't take out the taste of my pork, so just come test it, come try it. I'm sure we would all like to take the best possible care of our pets. So listen up for the True Tip of the Week. It's now time for your True Tip of the Week, brought to you by True Pet Food. 
Why is protein important for a dog's protein. nutrition? Protein, dog, protein is important for dog's nutrition. It helps with um, muscle development, right? So growing dogs need protein. So it's in terms of, if, especially a working dog, you need a lot of protein, especially the agility to move up and down and everything. So it's important to have protein within your diet. At least, 20%, at least 20% protein in the dog food. So like the shoe, I think they have at least 30% protein, which is very good for especially these dogs in this um, part of the world. Yeah. Does the amount of protein needed differ by breed and age? Yes, it does. Um, so, some, so smaller dogs are like puppies. They need at least, as I said, at least 20% um, protein in growth it, uh, on a regular basis. Right, so as the amount of protein is given, the muscle development should match that, um, the growth, basically, the growth rate of that dog. Our dogs such as, um, well, guard dogs, that need that runs a lot or to attack, they need a lot of protein. All the dogs, um, they need maintaining protein even though at, they only they get they tend to lose um, body muscle like dogs such as um, geriatric dogs. Are Caribbean dogs special in this regard? Yes they are. It's not like they need big muscles in comparison to pit bull dogs but they do everybody needs their protein in this regard but I mean at least 20% of 18% for Caribbean dogs. It should, be, it should be good. Growing dogs need a lot of protein. And that's like on an everyday basis, just to put on muscle, just to match the, the growth rate of the dog. But I do recommend dogs that just have puppies to be on high protein. The True Tip of the Week was brought to you by True Pet Food. It's now time for our third and final break. Keep it locked, I'm going to buy a bird. There are lots of reasons to believe in a dog food brand. Great nutrition, great price, and your dogs love the taste. But what if it's also made for Caribbean dogs? No artificial colors or flavors, with an eye on the environment, so we only use paper bags then you will be just as happy as your dog, truly. It's true, we love dogs. It's JF Mills Flour and Mixes for your pastries, pancakes, festivals, Johnny Cakes, and many cakes. Your wraps, pizzas, rotis, spinners, and dumplings and fritters. Using our wide variety of flours to include counter, cake and pastry, all-purpose, whole wheat, and baking. Pick them up today, all from JF Mills, the heart and soul of your kitchen. Distributed by Caramel. Everybody get your taste buds ready. Mmm, mmm, mm. Swiss ketchup pours better, tastes better, flavors better. Swiss ketchup makes your food and sauces yummy, yum, yum. Swiss ketchup loved by kids and adults. Swiss ketchup a delicious and favorite for all occasions. Ketchup is better because it's Swiss. Better because it's Swiss. Poison was a massive hit for Dennis Brown, Brian and Tony Gold back in 1990. Producer Mikey Bennett is here to give us the backstory behind that song on this week's Fury Culture segment. Fuey Culture is powered by Ray White Overproof Rum. Fuey Culture. It's driving me out of mind. That's why it's hard for me to find. Can't get it out of my head. Poison was a number one song on all the charts in 1990. Dennis Brown, Brian and Tony Gold. Um, tell us how did that come together that song is one of the magic moments you know well all, all, all the thing there brian and tony brought the song poison and so boy I read him and them do the song on the rhythm right? wicked so 
Dennis Brown came in one day. I hear the youth, the man say, it's which bird them that? <laughs> that girl is poison. One of the man from the group, I think it's Tony Gold, called me and said, boss, make Dennis do the song. Right so I said, come with you. The man I'm wanted to do, do the duet with you. So I said, yeah, man, no problem. And then he came in and did him thing. And of course, the whole, all of a sudden, was, everybody seen hit record. When Dennis Brown left, Brian Gold, them come in and say, no, boss, we can't use the vocal. We have to go in again. And Brian put on one of the best introductions I've ever heard on any song. In other words, not only was he singing on a song now, he was singing on a song on which Dennis Brown had sing. So it's like a, him reach now. So him figured out, boy, them can do better. So him went in and him, them put on a piece of vocal that was at least 25% better than what they had before. Which to me was a big surprise. Then it came the next day to do another song. I said, by the way, let me hear about the, the, the poison kind of. When he heard what Brian him had gone back in to do, he said, no, Mike, no, sir, Mike, me I forgot to finish. Dennis Brown went back in, boss, and for about an hour and a half, he meticulously transferred the song from a nice song to a hit song. It went to radar and just, whoosh. I mean, then it sprung and, but everything was going in favor. Popular R&B song, selectors, who didn't get it yet was calling for the record. Would you treat your stepchild differently to your biological child? Let's hear from the public in this week's Why Pre Vox Pop segment. Ypri is brought to you in partnership with Campari. Campari, respect the bitter. Because in some cases, it could be you. And you don't want nobody to treat you bad. Mm -hmm. So you have to treat others like exactly you want them to treat you. And basically, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to have your stepchild with you and you treat them bad and treat your one good. Maybe your child is going to be somebody's stepchild and you don't want nobody to treat your child bad. Now we have a treat them instead of you, know. they don't know when they grew up, but I said things they have to take care of it. You know. mm -hmm. Or we have to look for them to take care of it. Too. When mm -hmm. they must happen now, they're still in but we still have to take care of them. Mm -hmm. So even though when you're a youth, you still have to take care of them. You still have to take care of them, love your mother, you, know. you still have to love your youth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The stepchild, your biological child, it's the same thing. It's just a child. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you have to show them love the same way. It's no difference. Mm -hmm. Except to your own lawful in the same way. You grow them in the same culture, having the same customs and culture, and, and everything, all the, you know, all these conditions should be laid right out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes no difference of a stepchild to, to, to a, a lawful one. Makes right. no difference. Well, I will treat one of the same, because most of the time, is a step one, come and pay attention and help you out in life. Mm -hmm. Well, the important thing about it is that, you know, um, it's the same as how you would and treat your, your child. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, say, if you go to a supermarket and you buy one item for your child, you buy one for your stepchild too. Mm -hmm. You know, buy or Most people, what they do is that they treat for them child better and treat their stepchild worse. And then in the long run now, at the same stepchild turn on that time, it's very important to treat all children equal. Mm -hmm. Ypri is brought to you in partnership with Campari. Campari, respect the bitter. Let's see which song I will on the number one spot on this week's Magnum Top 10 chart. Magnum, take charge. Welcome 
Come to the tropics, never seen a pan the island really nice Right now we Instagram famous, it was spontaneous Like me see so much skill Dwelling at the dark because I mean them what? Me don't really beg new friends Straight cut here From me a juvenile and the money I call Me call my daughter for the pens I'm V6 pan the goal and it can't stop Our opinion Chief I'm gonna say things inside where you destroy all of my vibe we're now at the end of this week's episode of pre this show. Aiden, how was all about? It was great, we had a really good time. Excellent, excellent. All right guys, so I have a little announcement to make. I'll be stepping away from the show for the next few weeks, but don't worry on yourself. Aiden is actually gonna run off things, right? Well, I have some big shoes to fill, and now though, you'll definitely be missed. All right, my general, let's say a word. I'll see you guys next week. possible cure for our pets. Let's hear. Come again. Yo, Chuck, I come both ways. Predis was brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine, Tech Charge, Ray White Overproof Rum, Fui Culture, Campari, Respect the Bitter, JF Mills, The Heart and Soul of Your Kitchen, and Swiss Ketchup and Barbecue Jerk Sauce, Better Because It's Swiss.